What up guys, it is Scott and King Queen Cichlids, and today, yet another new video. In today's video, you're not seeing double. No, this is not a mirror image. Yes, there's a new addition in the kingdom. Let's talk about it. This story in five, four, three, two, one. Hi guys, it's Scott, King Queen Cichlids. And we are going to pick up some free fish from my friend, uh, Sean. Now, I'm not overexcited about getting these fish. And I'm sure you're wondering to yourself, uh-oh, let me get my seatbelt on. In what crazy circumstance would you not be excited about getting free fish? Well, in this particular situation. Um, and this is a very sensitive situation and I've debated whether or not I should be recording it. Even right now, talking to this camera, I debated whether or not this was the right thing to do. But what I've decided to do is go ahead, at this point, record it. I'll see what it looks like at the end of edit. Anyway, my good friend, Sean, who I've known for Hell, I've been in Pennsylvania 13 years, so 13 years. Uh, his father passed away. And Sean and I have been buddies for a long time. Uh, he was one of my first members when I created the Sigma Club of York. Uh, and, has, and he keeps many of the same fish I do. Uh, due to his situation and the loss of his father, he is going to be moving into a new place. And because of that, he needs to let go of some fish. So, he called me up. Actually, I reached out to him when I found out about the loss. He told him if there was anything I could do, obviously, let me know. He reached out to me today and said that he's got to downsize his tanks uh, because of the move. He wanted to know what I'd pick up his, uh, a couple of Dovi and a Trimax. So, obviously, I said yes. Do I really, am I really prepared for that at this point? No, uh, but I would prefer that they come to me. Uh, he knows I'll take care of him. He knows if he changes his mind and, and, and decides to get back into bigger tanks, he can come get them at any point. Uh, so I'm grabbing them right now and uh, we're on the way over there. He lives literally two miles away from me, so this will be a quick trip. So, all right guys. Yeah. Yeah, I use this whenever I'm just like doing a quick trip. So you think this is a a male? I think it is by the by the I never been in it. Yeah. All right, let's do this. And then you want me to take this guy? I'm gonna pay you some money though. Whatever you want, man. It's, you know, I got food for you too, man. Oh. Yeah. Let me give you this food. I'll give this to you. Yeah, that's the food I. Let me I see. Got a lot of food. That's the food I use. Hell yeah, Tesla. You can have that. Look at that. I got this bag. I can have that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Put it all together. Thanks, Sean. Put it all together, Scott. Put it all together, bro. <laughs> I'm not going far, so we can we get all these in two buckets or what? Yeah. Can't really see this one, guys, so get home. I'll show it to you. Try Max is promising. I don't want any plecos. You know what? You jamming in here, aren't you? Oh yeah, you're jamming. I have the longer one. But... That's what she said.
bet I go. Was it freeze? Huh? He wanted to. He's been trying to get her to. Yeah. Males, we don't care what temperature it is. Right. Oh my god. This is really sad folks to see how how bad you can't catch fish anymore. I was telling everyone what a great uh, hobbyist you were. Yeah. And now I got you on camera and you can't catch a damn fish. He's up there in the right hand corner. There you go. Boom. I gotta do everything. What are you doing now? You missed him? No, he jumped out. Are you kidding me? He jumped out. I tell you what, when you get back in the hobby, get in, do guppies and sore tails, stuff like that, because... <laughs> See, when I went like that, I must have went like that. Because so. your skills of catching... Yeah, he's nice looking. Yeah, he's nice. Huh? Beautiful. Well, guys, we picked up some cool fish. And I didn't feel comfortable about taking them without paying something, so I gave him some cash for it, uh, what I thought would be reasonable price for him. And uh, he smiled. We had some fun, as you guys can see. So, um, man, that's tough. He's a good dude, man. Sean's a really good dude. So, I guess we all have to go through that at some point where we lose a loved one. And, uh, man, am I never prepared for that. All right, guys, let's get these guys back to the house. We'll take them out the bucket where there's some light, and hopefully you can see uh, what we got. Let's go. Well guys, if you have been watching my channel for a while, or if you in fact have big cichlids, American cichlids yourself, you know how aggressive they can be. So bringing in new fish to establish fish tanks is always a chore and uh, can be quite difficult. So I've decided to put the Trimax uh, with my other Trimax here in the main fish room. And then the dove eyes are going to go into a 90 gallon quarantine tank with a divider in the garage fish room until uh, I move some fish around. That video will come uh, in the next week or two. I actually had to uh, rearrange some of the stuff I did last week that I was so proud about. But we will get back to that video in about two weeks. Always something going on in the fish room guys and hopefully that's why you keep viewing every week. So here's my 90 gallon fish tank in the garage with divider. Uh, I'll keep both of these dovis in here until I figure out what their forever home is going to be. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that these are two different kinds of uh, dovis. One is Honduran and one is from Nicaragua. Uh, which means that one will have a different color and one will be larger than the other one. But we'll dive into that subject next week because I think it's really interesting. Uh, two different dovis in what you can look for and now that we have the red dovi uh, there's three different kinds of dovis that are available to you but as I said we'll jump into that next week it's a great topic and I find it very interesting uh, these guys are doing really well in the 90 gallon tank and uh, as you can see uh, fairly good size alright guys let's check out the Trimax So when I originally saw this Trimax at Sean's house, I thought it was much smaller than my Trimax. And I was very surprised to see them next to each other. 
uh, with a divider of course this Trimax is pound for pound inch for inch just as big as the Trimax I have I'm hoping that one of them this new one is a female uh, but I highly doubt it uh, it looks like I have two males there but aren't they stunning the one I got from Sean has a little damage on the side as you can see over in the purple patch um, but I'm sure that will heal quickly over time uh, just two magnificent looking Trimax specimens beautiful thanks a lot Sean okay guys that is my time I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much Sean for the new cichlids in my fish room the Trimax and the two Dovis I greatly appreciate it guys this is the first time you've been to King Queen Cichlids please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this content today hit that like button if you have any questions at all about what you saw today or American Cichlids leave comments below I'll be glad to answer them if for some reason I don't have the answer I will reach out to people who do have the answer for you alright guys stay safe stay healthy stay positive and stay absolutely fishy look forward to seeing you guys next week and if you could do me a great favor I've been in contact with Andy Woods that's right the great Andy Woods I'm trying to do a combo video with him and I think he needs a little encouragement he's open to it but I think he needs a little encouragement so next time you see Andy Woods and he puts out a video every week leave a comment saying you'd like to see he and I together in a video I appreciate that talk to you later bye bye <laughs>